This is not a story for those faint of heart or trying to stay on a diet. In fact, if you don't have the willpower of, say, oh, Hercules, it might be best to leave the room for several minutes. Submitted for your approval, some of the very best chocolate in the world and the two guys who make it all happen at Donnelly's Chocolate in Santa Cruz. Beware, because they could take over the world as we know it, using nothing more than cocoa beans, sugar, and vanilla. How good are these guys? Well, National Geographic honored them as one of the 10 best chocolate shops in the entire world in their 10 best of the best. They sell chocolate around the globe, including France, China, Japan, Finland, and there are a couple of Laplanders that are in love with Donnelly's. They've been singled out in articles by Bon Appetit, Cook's Illustrated, the New York Times, the Los Angeles Times, and the Washington Post are all true believers. Richard Donnelly may be an award-winning chocolatier, but he actually started out to become an attorney. However, the Massachusetts native went to three different colleges in one year, and, well, the law seemed a bit of a reach. So instead, he went to cooking school in France. And even then, he bounced around a bit. Went to cooking school for a short time, and then I did some apprenticeships, very short, you know, couple week apprenticeships doing bread, working in a restaurant. I went back to cooking school, and then I went to candy school in Switzerland for just a couple weeks, and then I went to Belgium and I learned how to make chocolate there. Despite his newfound love of chocolate, it success, however, for Richard Donnelly was rather elusive. I started the business in my parents' kitchen. It was a horrible failure. <laughs> I'm not the only one to start twice. Um, the first six months, we had sales of something like $85. I think probably my mother was 84 of it. And so I just closed it up and I came back to California. A lot of friends had moved out here. And I was working in a, in a Williams Sonoma store. And this kitchen here was available. There was a gentleman here doing candy apples and he was wanting to retire. And I didn't have a whole lot of business experience. I didn't want to have to put a kitchen in. So I bought his kitchen. Come on in, I'll make you some fudge. Irresistible chocolate more than made up for Richard's lack of business acumen. Another one of the keys to Richard's 20 years of success is that his older brother, Henry, gave up being a stockbroker to take up the chocolate trade and help run the business. Whether it's in the kitchen or working the counter, together the two brothers have become chocolate impresarios and acclaim for their delicious handmade chocolates around the world. As we've mentioned, if you're on a diet, well, you can try to drive or walk past Donnelly's, but for some reason, there is this cocoa magnetic compass that continues to lure people inside. Hi. Good, how are you? The Donnellys have led more people astray than redheads with green eyes, chiefly because you never know whether to stop or go. It's a fun business. It's hard work. You know, we, we come in, we work a lot of hours every day. Uh, it's great working with my brother. And we you know, strive to have a consistently first-class product. Focusing on simple yet sophisticated flavors, the Donnelly's insidious plot to control the world using only chocolate is working. Apparently, true evil never sleeps, and the sinister duo are always looking for ways to making better and better and better chocolate. Henry even admits as much. We've spent 20 years working on the recipes. You know, we make chocolate every single day. We strive to improve it. You know, we always like, we don't get very much criticism, but we like constructive criticism. You can't make something great if you don't have great ingredients. We use the finest chocolate, real manufacturing cream, and we put it together well, and we have a pretty good delivery system. A pretty good delivery system indeed, one bite at a time. Nothing could be more ominous. Good chocolate is so different than just average chocolate. Less expensive, high sugar, lower cocoa quality. It's so different that when people try it, they don't want to go back. They obviously, right away, they know a difference. A lot of times they share it with their friends, and that's how word gets spread. So if you have an uncontrollable sweet tooth, or you're trying to drop a few LBs, be forewarned. Watch yourself if you're in Santa Cruz, because the Donnelly brothers are always up to more mischief, beckoning both the old and the young inside their cozy, an aromatic store with a promise of chocolate. Yeah,